Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. This your daily go get 'em is my number seven hundred and twenty three for September twenty fifth, two thousand and sixteen. All right, feeling kind of good tonight. My Eagles won today. Thrashed the Pittsburgh Steelers. Thrashed them thirty four to three. I can't front on that. I'm feeling kind of good about that. But tonight. I want to talk to you all about keeping something just between you and I, me and you. Keeping something between you and I, me and you. Basically, what that means is, you know, when you have, when you have a friend, a partner, a lover, you know, a family member or something, or it's maybe it, it may even be somebody that you don't even know that well or not that close to, and you may have done something around them or they may have done something around you, that only the two of you know about. And it may be sensitive information. It may be it may be something that happened that you would rather not share with others or that they would rather not share. It's just between you and them. They saw it, they saw you do it or you saw them do it. So, but it's a situation where hopefully you won't snitch or they won't snitch on you. Simple as that. It's just between you and I, or me and you, or you and them, whatever. It's privileged information. It's not necessarily a secret. See, everything that isn't supposed to be told isn't necessarily a secret. It could just be privileged information. Privileged information is different from a secret in that it could be privileged information between, you know, people who are authorized to know, know things. Like, for example, let's say you're the member of a club or an organization. You may have a, <clears throat> a set of principles that only the people in the group know. It's not a secret because everybody in the group knows it. And it's not like the feds are going to come in or the, the you know, law enforcement is going to come in if any of the, the information leaks out. But it's, you know... It's things that only people that are in that group or organization should know. The same thing is with like a sports team or something like that. You know the game plan, the 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 play, the playbook, and everything. It's not it's, it's not necessarily a secret, but it's privileged information. And if that information is compromised and shared between the wrong people, then it could get in the way of you winning games. See, it's just between you know you and I, me and you. You and them, <clears throat> them and us. See, everything doesn't have to be a secret. See, when you start getting into the whole secret thing, you know, you get into a, an area where somebody's feelings are going to get hurt if you if you share the information, or somebody could really get in some deep trouble if the information gets out. So I just wanted to make a little, you know, show the difference between privileged information and secrecy. See, I don't want to really deal with secrecy tonight. We know that we need friends that will share our secrets. But <clears throat> nine times out of ten, when we have secrets, those secrets are more about something that we may have done wrong. And we don't want to be embarrassed if, if the secret gets out. <clears throat> We're talking about something that happened just between you and I. Now, it's similar in that maybe if this information gets out, it could cause some embarrassment on that side. That's possible, but it's not as it's not as um, sacred as a secret. Now, if you've ever if you've ever shared information that somebody wanted to keep just between you and them, then you know what I'm talking about. You know how it can affect other people, and it can affect the bond that two people have. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all something, man. It's kind of hard to talk. <clears throat> All that yelling at the game or whatever. It's been years since I yelled out at, at, a, at a football game. It's crazy. <laughs> but my voice is uh, paying a price right now. I hope I'm not real hoarse tomorrow. But anyway. You know, if somebody ever told something that you, that you wanted to keep just between them and you, or you told something that they wanted to keep just between you and them, then you know how... Trust can become a factor. It can become an issue. It can become something that gets broken down. And you know how hard it is to build back up trust once it's lost. Now, 
one of the things that have to, has to be considered is whether the parties involved understood that the information was really just supposed to be kept between you and them. And you can normally tell. Sometimes a conversation is had that indicates or is straight up, you know, outlines that the information is just supposed to be between you and them. You know. And um, sometimes the li lines can get a little blurry and you may have think you may have thought that it was okay to share this information. Like when you're sharing, I mean, when you're exchanging helpful information, um, like the information that be that might be shared in a group, then you may feel like it's okay to share that info. Other than that, you might want to just keep that under wraps. You know, don't don't run your mouth. You know. I was thinking about about this the other day with the, that old saying, loose lips sink ships. And all my life, I was thinking that the ships, they were talking about boats. But now that I've thought about it, and I don't even know if this is true, if this is true, maybe the ships that they mean that are going to sink are friendships, relationships. Partner ships. They do sink. When trust is broken, when information is compromised, when treaties are breached, contracts are breached, broken, it can sink ships. Relationships, partnerships, friendships. I mean, it's one of those things that we all have to go through in life. Very rarely do people keep lifelong friends without any turmoil from the time those those friendships start till they finally end. And a and there are a variety of things that can compromise a friendship, a partnership, a relationship. And a lot of times it's those things that are that were really supposed to just between be between you and them when they get messed up. So it's probably a good idea to try to keep it keep it as one hundred as possible when it comes to making sure that you keep your mouth shut. Don't be running off. It is what it is. Like uh, on on the radio show this morning, we had a caller who was saying that that she was taught that if you have a secret that you want to keep secret, you don't tell anybody, 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 anybody. You don't tell nobody. See, that's one of those things that seem easier said than done. Even the most secretive people that I know tell somebody something. They may tell a stranger that doesn't know them and that they feel cannot harm them rather than a friend that could use that relationship. I mean, that could use that, that information to harm them, you know, somewhere down the line if they should get angry at them or, or you know. People get petty. But even serial killers and people who have committed committed the most heinous of crimes, they tell somebody what they did. They either tell what they did because of ego and they want to show that they got away with something or they tell because they feel that guilt, the pressure of that guilt, that remorse, and it's really weighing them down and they feel like they have to get the weight of that world up off their shoulders. <laughs> But they tell somebody. And you should always feel like you can tell somebody. And that they'll keep that information between you and I. Me and you. You and them. As simple as that. You know. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, when you're talking about keeping things between you and I, me and you, you and me, them and us, us and them, you know, you want to be around people who are trained to be able to, to handle information because not everybody else can, not everybody can do it. I see this, this wrist brace. 
I'm telling you, man. My wrist been messed up. It'll be three weeks this week, man. I'm trying to get it back together because I haven't been able to do no push-ups, man. I feel like, you know, when you used to exercise in a whole lot, and then you can't do the exercises that you want to do. Like, I can't lift weights. I can't do no push-ups. I can't even do overhead presses, but I can do pull-ups and stuff. When when, they, when you when you hurt yourself like this, you feel like, you feel like you're getting soft and, and gaining weight by the minute. <laughs> it's all mental, and it's ridiculous, but that's how you feel. So I'm going to try to get this thing healed, man. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some push-ups by the end of this week. And if I don't, y'all hear about it. But anyway, y'all have a good night. And I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Don't forget about the, the Daily go get show. Every single day at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 347-677-1533. 347-677-1533. Call the show every day. The, the, the show will be... The Daily Go get is a movement within itself. But the show is a, a really very, very good, especially in the morning, inspirational. And, um, you know, it's just like food for thought early in the morning. Get your day right. Ask anybody. It's good. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.